Well, welcome back, folks. This is your host, Tidy Jester. Thanks so much for joining me today in the Great Kryn Consulate in Galactic Civilizations 2. Alright, so I was able, uh, this is a new day, so this morning I was able, actually able to get on the, um, wiki, the wiki for Galactic Civilizations to to try and find out some information I was not 100% sure about or I wasn't really understanding the whole process. So uh, let's talk about what, what I learned and uh, how that's going to affect how we're going to do things. So uh, if we go into our Civilization Manager here, you can see the Great Kryn Consulate here. We have two very important things that are associated with our race. Number one, we're committed to spreading our religion into the galaxy. So this is basically um, influence. What we try to do is influence the other factions into joining our side and basically becoming part of our great civilization. The other thing we obviously know about is super spies. We can start out with the agent and the counter espionage technology. And if you look over here on the list here you can see all of our different bonuses and such. Right now, we only have 16% influence, and we are ranking second currently in that. And if we look at our espionage, it's at plus 115%, which of course puts us at probably number one. I don't know if that's technology, influence production, popularity, approval rating, technology, military. Okay, so that's not actually a different category, but we have great espionage. So what we think we're going to be doing is we are going to be cranking up our espionage level. If we go back to our economy here, I made some adjustments. We're definitely going to try to get out some more colony ships. There's a couple colonies we know about, and we're going to try and secure these as fast as possible, get some colony ships out. We're only going to be doing it at like 37%. I took our taxes down a little bit. You can see our approval rating is 99%. But we are spending almost everything that we make. So we're not gaining any money in our treasury, barely. But I cranked up our espionage settings all the way up to 56 BC per turn. And you can see that we're going to be able to kick out some spies pretty regularly, hopefully. So I wasn't sure about this whole, what, what this represents and everything. So I got on the wiki, like I mentioned. And basically, here's what I understand. The more spies you have, the more they learn about the empire that you're dealing with. And so we've got a spy here, the Dominion of Crux, and also in the Thailand, em Thailand, Thailand Empire. And you can see that our spies will learn information about that different race um, and they'll learn it mo they'll learn more and more about that race the more spies we have once we get to a low influence or a low understanding of them we will have that race's income and influence ratings on their planets which is going to be important because we are going to be using influence uh, our own influence to try to change them into our race. Have their colonies rebel and say, oh, we want to join the Kryn uh, Empire instead of staying where they're at. So we're going to use that instead of military to actually try to take over some of the galaxies. Um, so with low influence, we're actually going to know their income and influence rating of the planets. If we can crank up our influence and our influence becomes four times what their um, if we click on a planet let me show you here down here at the bottom you can see influence and we currently have 56 IPs or influence points associated with this planet that's how likely our faction is going to stay with us and the number in parentheses behind it is the influence other civilizations are putting towards changing our colony into them and if this number ever gets to four or higher then there's a chance that our civilization would say oh you know what this other race is that much better so this is what we're going to actually do with the other races is we're going to try to influence them 
if they have low influence rating and try to convert them into our side. So if we click on, say, we only know of a couple other races right now. Um, we know of this minor race here. But we don't have any spies there, so you can see we have just question marks there. We need to have a low espionage level to find out what influence they have. And once we find out what kind of influence they have, we can start uh, basically trying to influence them to become part of our empire. And that's what we're going to try to do, as opposed to try and build military ships, come over here and try to forcibly take over their planet. And the same thing with this guy over here. He is, right now we don't have any spies there, so we need to have at least a low espionage level. So back to our talking about the different levels. So under a low influence level, we will know their income and influence ratings on their planets. We'll also know where their ships are going to be moving to. We will know their general civilization statistics, such as their total population, their average approval rating, etc., etc., and we'll occasionally steal technology as well. If we can get an extra spies on the on there and bump that up to medium level, so that was low level. So no medium level, we're going to know all their race bonuses with all their mining, their anomalies, and technology bonuses. We're going to know medium planet information. We're going to know what their low-level technologies and their current research technologies and again we will occasionally steal a technology from them as well. If we can get a, that up to a high rating we're going to know all their planetary improvements, we're going to know their low and medium technologies and we will occasionally steal a technology as well. And then advanced, if we can get all the way up to advanced, we're going to know all their star base information, we're going to know their full technology list, and we'll occasionally steal a technology. So you notice that low, medium, high, and advanced, I keep mentioning stolen, occasionally stealing a technology. So the way I understand it is the chance for an espionage race to steal a tech from a race being espionaged is going to be higher with your um, with your different levels. So it's going to uh, medium is going to be have a greater chance than low, and high is going to have a greater chance than medium, and advanced is going to have a higher chance than high. But it's still just a chance. So there's no guarantees. There's no anything. But occasionally we'll uh, steal a technology. So that's kind of what we're going to try to do. And we're going to try to take some of these other races. And if, in fact, if we go into diplomatic, s nope, that's not it, um, relations, foreign relations, here we go. We we're going to try to find some places that have low influence. And we're going to try to use our influences to basically uh, steal their systems away from them. So you can see these guys are number one in influence. So probably not a good choice. These guys here are fifth, the Iconian Refuge. Uh, we need, obviously, low economic, um, low espionage level to check out some more of their different abilities and such. Um, and we look at the last guy here. They are currently influence fourth. So probably our first bet is... Uh, the Iconian Refuge and of course it's based upon how much influence we can actually put into that system. So that's kind of important that we get these other planets. That's why I changed things because our sphere of influence, if I zoom out you can see here this is kind of our little area. Influence does two things. It basically puts pressure on anything to kind of force this bubble to expand out. Once this bubble can expand out into other areas or other colonies, then it puts pressure on them to switch over. And if we can put enough pressure through our little bubble to cause the f four times whatever their level is on the planet, again, if we go into our planet thing, we can see how much the planet's making in, inf uh, in, in uh, influence points. If we can put four times as much pressure, 
based upon how what we have going on in our little sphere of influence push it over and uh, put enough influence points towards that colony to um, to convert over to our side so this whole process and the and the technology and the espionage and stuff is kind of a it works together really really well from what I understand and I have not actually done this so this is going to be a, a test to see how this all plays out as I mentioned in our first playthrough this it's it's going to be interesting to see because if we go into our research screen, now this is interesting. If we just get rid of that for a minute, you will see that we have several things here that I believe are just specific to our race: the Jah Jihad of Kryn, the Laws of Kryn, the Order of Kryn. I, I believe I don't know for sure if these are just specific to our race or not, but they're named after us, so it's <laughs> kind of important. We already got the Jihad of Kryn, uh, but you can see down the line here, uh, we can have, we have our superior espionage is what we're trying to get. So I'm going to try to get that, get our master spies. That will finish up basically our espionage. We'll be able to crank out our espionage really good. Then what I'm hoping to do is actually look at getting some of these levels here because if we right click we can get some information. You will see that we will be able to have advanced influence modules for our star bases. So we can start building star bases and then we can put these modules in the star bases and basically upgrade them to start putting extra influence on the um, colonies and such within our star bases area of influence. So, so you can see here allows us to train non Kryn into becoming dis disciples of Kryn, and it's a powerful cultural star base module. And if we look at the next level here, it kind of has the same little deal deal here. Trains converts into becoming disciples to go and spread the way, and of course it improves our diplomatic abilities as well. So there's quite a few options we can actually do to start spreading the influence. In fact, if we go this way as well, we can see where our influence, we can get a bonus there. In fact, this is our basic path. If we go down this path here and go all the way over to the right, you can see that we can actually win a technology victory if we research all of that path. So being in these two paths is going to be probably pretty good for us. Unfortunately, to get all this done, which means we're not going to be able to do a lot of the other stuff that we would like to do. So, we'd like to spend some research on getting a lot of this other oops, this other stuff, um, military and everything else. But we're not going to have the research to do everything. So. That's kind of what I decided to do, so that's what we're going to try anyways. Um, so hopefully that was kind of an explanation for those of you out there that were kind of unsure, lost, uh, as me. So it's the 1st of May, 2227, and we're ready to finish our turn. Actually, before we were ready to finish, let's just look at our star base self. You can see here our 56 influence points. It's from our planet. Uh, population improvements and miscellaneous plus four from our influence ability and plus six from our civilization influence so once we get this area actually built you can see that this is going to um, and it's going to give us the influence boost boost and because it's in a location that gives us a hundred percent bonus we can actually start putting out some more influence so I think we're gonna try to concentrate on influence and we're gonna try to get some star bases out now the star bases um, we can build are gonna take you know some of our military might that's why I changed our diplomatic stats here because if we don't have any military uh, we're not gonna be able to build any of our construction vehicles and uh, build some star bases so I'm not ready to do that yet because we still need to do the research and get our research where we need it to be 
so we can start putting these advanced modules in um, so we're gonna build some colony ships up we already know of a couple planets here we got this one here we got this one here we're on our way to colonize this one uh, so I'm sending our scout here we're gonna start sending it over this way try to find out if there's anything over in this location it's either one of these two locations and uh, see if we can expand out because the closer we can get to the other races and build colonies then we can start influencing even harder so let's go to the next turn I know that was kind of a long um, it was a long in-depth process there but um, okay so we've got another spy which is good and you can see we're going to start spitting out spies hugely quickly so what we want to do is uh, so do, I think we want these guys mm -hmm. yeah let's go ahead and put our spy and uh, I don't know for sure if it works on the minor races as it does the major races but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens and this could be an epic failure on our part but that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna start start with these two guys which are our minor civilizations over here by us and we're gonna see how this works and see if, if we can convert them onto our side which would be really cool uh there's nothing of interest there great okay so start coming that way I guess uh you yes Nestor one okay so we got an event here our colonists are reporting that the planet is inhabited by a horde of sentinel insects Additionally, there seems to be a violent civil war between two gigantic hives of them. These beings are not nearly as advanced as we, but their civil war is making the world quite dangerous. So we can lose 10 morale. We can lose 8% of planetary production. Or we can just exterminate them. And of course, basically, on you can either be good, neutral, or evil choices uh, no this is going to be too important to plan it we are I guess we're going to do that let's exterminate them thank you huh. so we have any manufactured districts established here would be considered production bonuses alright so we will build a factory there 50 weeks. Wow. It's going to take us a while to get that done, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> there are other system here is building some factories, trying to get those done. And Starbase Alpha is done. Now, we do have a colony ship. We can click on the build ship. We can see how much it's going to cost us to buy it. 1320. We only have 4067. Remember, we're not making that much money. But I think expanding out is going to be helpful for us. So we're going to try to grab this one here. Because it's so close to this and we have our influence, I think that would start influencing them. And this one here as well. So we've got to grab these two. And then, depending on what we have up here we might alter what we're doing but we shall see hopefully I'm just trying to give you alright so here's a, uh, a good example we have the Thalen Empire espionage level reached was low okay so now again with low we can see their income influence ratings of their planets we can see where their, their ships are destined to go we can get their general civilization statistics such as total population, average approval, etc. and occasionally steal a technology. And of course this is all on the Galactic 2 Galactic Civilizations 2 wiki. So I'm just assuming that is the case. Alright. So we're going to click on our star base, hit L. Now let's see. Which one do we want to go for first? 
We have this one here, which is a class five. We have this one there, which is a class six. We got a spy over here. So actually, what I think we'll do is we'll bring our colony ship out that way, and we will launch a ship. We're gonna have as much population on it as we can and launch. What? That is not what I told you to do. You should have come out over here. Hmm. All right. Well, whatever. Get over here. We had to go around that sun, which cost us maybe a turn. Hmm. That's a bummer. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, you are, should be building another colony ship. Yes. Twenty-four weeks. So we'll let that build for a little bit. Uh, let's look at our diplomatic stats again. So we're actually losing money there. Hmm. So we need to crank this up a little bit. I'm sorry. Down a little bit. Uh, let's bring up our taxes a little bit. 2 BC a month. Wow, that just doesn't seem like anything. But I want to want to keep our espionage really, really high. Because I think get these spies out are going to be very helpful for us. So we have any system... Oh, let's just look at this. We have one inhabited. Okay, so nothing else in that corner. Just start coming out that way. We can end our turn. Superior espionage has been perfected. Excellent. Alright, so now comes decision time. Master Spies is going to take us 33 weeks, which is going to give us the Temple of Espionage. If we look at the Temple of Espionage, this is a galactic achievement. Gives us research bonus, espionage bonus, and 5 BC of maintenance. So the research bonus and that would be pretty good. So the question is <sighs> Temple of Kryn is going to give us an influence bonus and a morale bonus and allows us the construction of the next level which is the Order of Kryn which gives us a morale bonus and a big influence bonus and it's also only one per planet. So this is only three weeks and it gives us quite a big influence bonus so we will we we'll go for this I think we can I don't want to wait 33 weeks for that uh, so we're just gonna have to <sighs> Wow 33 and 25 percent bonus Mm, 33 weeks is a long time though. But, uh, all right, let's try to get this lower level one. It's only three weeks. Um, and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay. An agent. Oh, look at that. Nice. Colony ship has been completed. Which I believe, yes, is the one we just moved. Okay. So we now have another agent. Uh, before we do that, let's look at Z system here. Uh, we haven't got to a low level with them yet. Hmm. All right. Well, what we'll do is click on our little place aids. Oh no, uh, that's not what I want. Uh, I want to do it this way. Uh, let's place him in this because the next thing we're gonna do is start trying to influence this guy when we take over this planet. So we're going to see how this works. This might be... I might be doing something wrong. Hopefully not, folks. But uh, we shall see. So our economy's taken... The, gone into the crapper because we've... We now... Uh, we're only spending 18% on improvements. I'm trying to keep our research up, but we also need our military ships. Actually... How much is it going to cost us to... This one, thank you. 28. Um, how much would it cost us to buy it? 1300. I'm going to accept that 
and now I'm going to build a constructor. Constructors are going to be good for us. It's only going to take us four weeks too, so that's much hap much happier about that. So we'll be able to grab that planet. We'll be able to grab that planet. Um, hmm, it costs us a lot of money, so we have to really, 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 really work, watch out for our money situation. Which could be bad. Nope. Can you grab that? Thank you. Alright, end of turn. Colony ship has been completed. Thank you. So we wanted to go... Uh, L for launch. And then we're going to launch our ship. Thank you. And now we want you to go here. Alright, so our colony ships are on their way. We'll get these two colonies right away. Um, let's look at our... So if we look at our Starbase Alpha 2, so we have 8 influence points. And we're actually getting 0.01% from an enemy onto this system. So what we want to do is put a nice influence star base right here. Start putting some of these upgrades on it. Push them back. Push them back. Way back. <laughs> we do have these resources here. Mm, military and economic. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. All right, you. Oops, you go there. Okay, 250 BC. I like that. And benefit your economy by 1%. Okay, I like that as well. Uh, enter turn. Uh, so we are now building our embassy, and we have another agent available. Alright, I believe that is um, the one we just built. Yes, 52. Okay, so we have another agent available. Let's see how quick we're going to spit these suckers out. <sighs> um, I think what we're going to do is place one in every place we know first. And then we'll start... Um, you see, it's only going to be eight more weeks before we get another one. So that's not very long. Then we can start maximizing our agents but having one in each location will get all of our uh, knowledge of that race up to at least low level eventually set of captain's logs upgrade your ship later will make it that much more lethal alright so we've now reached a low level with that Jesons let's take a look and we has the laws of Kryn has been perfected. All right. So the laws of Kryn. Let's look at that again. It allows us to build a temple, which gives us extra influence and morale bonus, and yada yada yada. Now, where are the? I think it's this thing here, right? How's oh, this? Yes. How's this to train? Uh, unlocks, it's a module, starbase module, yeah, so that's, I think, what we want to do. <laughs> so we need to get this one first, which is a starbase module, okay. So it's only four weeks, so we'll go ahead and start that project. Uh, repair rate by 1%, okie okay dokie. Um, hmm. Guess we'll start heading down that away. Start to get some of that debris. You, I'm still waiting on you to do something. Okay. Uh, and our colony ship should move. And there we go. We've got a new one. Croup. Croup one. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so nothing special. No special locations. We will. <clears throat> Increase our influence. Wait a minute. Is this... Yeah, so let's look at this. So we have... They have influence of 54 IP. Um, is there a way to click on that to find out? 1 point something J. Hmm...
Probably because it's her home world. But anyways, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to... Um, well, first thing we're going to do is build a factory, which will increase our production rate of everything else. It's going to take a while, but... Hey. Alright, end her turn. Alright, so now our espionage level at the lands, 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 and <laughs> whatever, however you say that. Um, six most powerful civs. Zero military, yeah, we know that. Economy rating is 138, yeah, okay, not hugely great, I suppose. Um,. Let's look and see. Do we find anything? I know there's a c column. Uh, there it is. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Oh, influence resource. Ooh, hoo, hoo, nilly. So silly. That is what we want. Constructor. Um, yes, we will build the ship. We will buy it. For twelve hundred bucks, we will accept that because we need this one ASAP, I believe. Before somebody else grabs that, ah, uh, that's right up our alley. Okay. Uh, all other progress smoothly with the colony. You may enter a name. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. That's fine. Oh, we got a factory bonus one and. A improvement one. Um, happiness uh, approval rating. Yeah, okay. Good. Missionaries have been perfected. That's a wonderful thing. Now we want this, which is 11 weeks. Which will be good. And then we're actually going to even try to crank that out, possibly. Ooh, we met a new race. Greetings. We are pleased to meet you. Okay. What would you like? Would you like economic treaty? Mm, yeah, they're too early yet. Okay, but let's see. Let's take that out. Uh, what do they? Oh, they know some research. Iron drives. Space militarization. New propulsion techniques. And ship defenses. How about for Xeno Engineering? <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, <laughs> we do one for one? No? How about... Money? No. They just don't... I guess they don't trust us yet. Let's let our relations go up a little better. So we got neutral warm. Oh my gosh. A warm and neutral. So the Iconians and the Thalans. Let's talk with them then and see what we can do. How about a economic treaty? It's too early right now. Okay. Well that's fine. You don't want to do treaties. How about some researchable things? <laughs> so See, do you want any of my stuff? Is the question. Ooh, they'll do a four for three. If I get rid of that, no. So he wants a universal translator, which oops, which is just allows him to speak to other places. Industrial Revolution, Xeno and Engineering, and Universal Translator versus Xenobiology, Xeno Medicine, and Stellar Cartography. Um, new propulsion techniques. Interstellar construction. Oh, I want that one. Gotta have that. How about a little bit of cash? 129 billion credits. How much do we have? Mm, three for four and a little bit of credits. Alright, we'll go ahead and do it. It's probably a stupid mistake. 
Thylons, let's talk with you. What do you have? New propulsion. Mm, aquatic world colonization, really? You must be going after an aquatic world. Diplomatic relations, ion drives, and that. We'll give that to you for the two things we just picked up and a little bit of traditional research. So three for three. How about you give us some money as well? And how about some influence? No? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Fine. And new propulsion techniques. What would you like for that? Medicine? Sure, we just picked up medicine, so we'll send that to you. Good, we got us some research. That's good. Unfortunately, I don't think they can give us any of the research that we are trying to get, which is down this way. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so, yes, let's look at here. It's interesting. 54 IP, and we got 99999.99. I don't know what that means. Please. Approval ratings is well, approval ratings only 63%. In fact, if we actually go into, I believe it's this screen. Yes, we can actually get a detailed report of. How do we switch? Yeah, here's where we. Oh, uh, we can only do it with the main races. Is that how that works? Wonder if I'm wasting my time with these minor races. I don't know. That'll be interesting to find out. Minor. Oh, here's minor races. Uh, let's talk to the other guy. No, not that guy. This guy. No, where's our other guy? All right. Sorry about that interruption, folks. So yeah, we could speak to these yahoos. Let's see what they have here. Um, so we know a little bit of information. Population, treasury, total income, total expenses, their approval rating, their colonies, their military production, their research, their influence, their trade, and their diplomacy. Um, hmm, what if we speak to them? Interstellar warfare and space militarization. Let's give that to them for nothing that they can use to get off their planet. How about xenomedicine? Sure, that sounds good. I don't really care what, what research you get because we're going to take you over one way <laughs> or the other. Just don't be talking to anybody else and giving them it, giving, giving them it. Uh, constructor. Oh yes, constructor needs to launch ship. Oh wait, L. Let's go that way. Launch it. There we go. And you. Oh look at there's our influence range right there. Anyways, let's start going over there. We gotta pick this special up. Wow, that's great. Let's just come over here and see what else is around. Oh, no habitable planets. That's too bad. Uh, and actually, that's the only one in this whole system. That's cool. Actually, we want you to come. We want you to start coming over this way to see what's over in this system. Okay. Oh, Iconian refugee espionage level is leech low. Good. So we're finding out a little bit about all the races out there. Uh, armor by 1%. Okay. So we've got kind of this whole quadrant. We got a system here, our main system. We got this one, we got this one. And there are no. That is an ascension crystal over there. Hmm. We could go for an ascension victory as well, but. Wait a minute. What are you doing? There's all kinds of stuff in this system. 
Might as well finish this. Ex ex getting all this stuff because other ships will be coming around trying to pick it up. We do have two ascension crystals over here. Um, turn. What is this thing? Colony ship. What? Uh oh. He's going to be trying to colonize whatever the heck is in here. And Pink's way over here. Down in this area. Uh, that's not good. That is not good at all. And they're number one in influence, too, so we definitely need to get this influence resource. Oh my gosh, that's a. Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. There's no way we can stop him from making it over there. Ooh, nice looking colony ship, though. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. That's that's on the front page. That's on the front screen, the load screen. That's the ship that's on the load screen. Yes, it is. It looks just like it, I believe. I guess we'll look at that next time, folks. Um... Thanks for watching. Again, Galactic Civilization 2. Hopefully you are enjoying this series and uh, learning some stuff as we play through this. Leave your thoughts and comments below and we'll see you next time.